Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I just gotta say this real quick. Um, I'm gonna try to say it with as much love and humility and just goodness as possible because I don't want to come across. I don't want to deter people from. I know my anger can deter people, so I don't want to do that. Uh, but I gotta point out the fact that I looked at my views yesterday, and it's like that little video I made sharing um, a colorful spire, spire, which is a beautiful sight. Um, it got 63 views, I think, unless I could be wrong, but I think it's where I saw 63 views. Um, you know, which took me like 15 seconds to create, and then just a little title there, just playing with words. And then you know the other videos I made that that took you know, real good time and effort that they're designed to help solve very real, huge, serious problems on the planet got, I think, three views. Um, each of them got three views. And it's just that to me, I mean, it, it does, you know, <clears throat> I try not to let it bum me out too much, but it does a little bit, you know, I'm sensitive and stuff. But it's also the fact that like people care more about seeing things that are visually pleasing than they do about solving problems. Like, cause to me, like I would love to see other human beings, like I'd love to see their work. I'd love to see their ideas they have to solving problems. I like looking at other people's writings and pictures and diagrams and just ideas to help solve problems. Like that's something I'm very fond of. Like just that energy that, that, that itself is something that I like to be around. I like to see it. I'd like to see more of. And it's something that we're lacking here, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't have so many problems. So to me, it just, it tells me that where the collective is at, like there's still the mindset. I mean, obviously nothing has really changed, but it just, it helps give me contrast to how different I am. Like that I am sitting here perpetuating a bunch of solutions or potential solutions to, to things and they don't get much attention. And it's, it's just because the collective has been geared or has molded itself because we all have free will. So we've chosen where we're at. So we've chosen to, to live a life and to perpetuate a reality that's more about pleasing the senses and, and rather than solving solutions. And this is why, you know, this is what happens when you continue to go down that road with continued momentum is you turn into selfishness. I mean, greed, addiction, whatever it is, you know, there's many different forms of addiction, but that's exactly what, you know, pleasing the self, like the more you perpetuate that, the more you become dependent, the more you like that, the more you become addicted to things like that, whether it's drugs or seeing things that are visually good or sex or making money or being successful or, you know, watching videos that are pleasing to your eyes and that make you feel cool, like, that's where the collective, most of the collective seems to be at right now. And I'm just sharing with you guys that like <clears throat> continuing to think that way is going to continue to perpetuate more problems. It's not going to help change anything. So like the more that we can all share ideas and solutions and ways to help change this world and this reality in a good way, the better off we all are. So anyways, but just from my perspective, it's like, wow, like it really, it's just like, it took me like 15 seconds to make that little video, but then I take... I spend all this time writing down and sharing it with you guys, doing all these things, and it's like, it gets hardly any attention. So just, for me, it just, it gives me a, <clears throat> um, an idea of where everybody's at. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. All right, love you all. Hope you have a good day. Bye.